Life is not guaranteed. And for me, that is something I cherish for the rest of my life because every day that I get up, I'm like, I got a second chance. And my second chance is not something I take for granted. I was getting ready for the Summer Olympics in London. I think it was maybe a month before the games begin when I was diagnosed with breast cancer when you're an elite runner and trying to get ready for the most prestigious games of all, and then somebody to drop a bomb on you to tell you that you have cancer, it just devastated. When she first found out, um, she was strong. And off for the women's 400 meters. These are the athletes coming in, but so still, Rosemary White with the lead, W. Williams Mills creeping up on our inside. It is still Rosemary White. Here's Dublin Williams Mills coming through to hit the front. It is Dublin Williams Mills. That same week, that Saturday, I won the Jamaica Nationals, qualified for London. That was the only thing that seems to keep my mind away from what was going on, from the reality of, yes, she had cancer, from the reality of sitting home crying. Her doctors wanted her to get the surgery done as soon as possible, but we discussed it and we all agreed that it was going to get done after London Olympics 2012. Just being on the track warming up or there, you know, I'm not going to be like, oh, it was easy. No, God, no, it was hard. I'm like, everybody walk into that line and I think everybody was thinking about winning. I'm just thinking about getting through this race. I'm like, I'm thinking about how many days I have before surgery and I didn't know what was going to happen. We won a bronze medal in that 4 by 4 It was bittersweet because you know, running that ankle leg, and I know what I was coming back to do. I was like, as I run my last race. I ended up doing the lumpectomy, but when I went back for my results like a week later, um, he told me that my margins weren't clear. The options were we could go back in and, you know, remove some more, or we can go and do a mastectomy. And I said, okay, we're going to do a double mastectomy. I have a couple of scars and I am proud because one, I think that made me the person I am today. That made me a stronger person. I don't know if it was ever an option of her not returning to run. That's her life. She wasn't going to quit. I won the national championship after, you know, being through all of that. But at the end of the day, well, I lay on that track in Jamaica and I cry. But at that time, nobody knew what was my tears about. It wasn't about winning that day. It was about everything that I've been through. When she won the national championship and finished that 400 strong, I knew she was back. When I look at my wife and I look at the scars, I see strength, confidence, all those things that a true woman is to me. I didn't know how strong I was until I had to face something that a lot of people sometimes don't survive. You know, to come out on the other side and to still do what I love to do, it's still pretty good.